In this video, we're going to have a look at how to create these saved views. In the last video, we looked at how to rotate the site to simplify it to be able to place it on layouts. Now we're going to create uh, a save view of a site plan and a save view of a section and place them on a layout. So let's have a look at how that section works first. So we're going to select this. It's called 6 at the moment. I'll just rename that as 1 doesn't really matter all that much but just to keep it nice and clean now to open this I can do it in a few ways I can select it right click and open with current view settings or it's also going to create it here for me so in so this is in my navigator so I can just double click on this and that will open up so this is the site uh, there's some trees that I built on this uh, we can leave those we can turn them off it doesn't really matter but what we see here is uh, a black line and that black line is where we're cutting through the site or the mesh currently you see that I've got the the structure of that mesh being a solid fill I could also change that to an earth fill but in terms of a, a preliminary file um, solid black is fine sometimes it's better and of course my floor plan or my site plan is also automatically generated uh, and I'll, I'll save that. So just to explain this um, workflow, in our navigator this is our project map. So this is where we have our base drawings. We're then going to save things into our view map. So this is where we actually save drawings like a plan as a site plan and save our section as a save view section and then we're going to place it onto a layout. Again this is one of my files uh, in some videos I've showed you standard Archicad templates and this is one of my templates uh, so we see that there's already information existing in some cases we'll delete and replace information in some cases we'll override information um, I could actually just use what's already here but I don't want to just because I want to show you the process alright so let's just delete the two site plans that are already there and to save this we first want to understand scale so this is a pretty big site let's just measure that this long boundary is 54 meters so 54 meters is too big to fit on an A3 page at 1 to 100 so we're going to start by changing this scale to 1 to 200. So that's just down the bottom of the page. Now that's not changing the size of the site. That's not even changing the length of the site. Because when we're working in Archicad, we're always drawing at a scale of 1 to 1. We're drawing at a true scale. But we're representing at a reduced scale. So once I've got the scale the way that I want it to be, I'm then going to save it as a save view, which means I need to be in my view map. Now I'm going to right click on my site folder, save current view, I can just get rid of that ID and I'm going to change the name to custom. Currently that was based on the story but that's not really useful because otherwise my site plans, site analysis, floor plans would all be called the same thing. So I'm going to call this site plan and I'm going to just write that in capitals. Um, layer combination custom is really horrible, I should never be using that. Um, I'm just going to use RMD plan site for now. That may actually change what we see, but I can always come back and adjust that if I feel that it needs it. Uh, scale 1 to 200, that's correct. Dimensions, that's really horrible. I'm going to use the one that I've created called RMD, but effectively we want that to be plain millimeter. And create. So we note that they actually got rid of the, um, the reference markers, and that's fine. We could turn back on the reference marker for the section so we can see where that section's cutting. That might be a good idea. So how do I do that? There's a few ways. You, so maybe you need to know what it was called. If you're not sure what it was called, go to Option, Element Attributes, Layer Settings, and turn on all the layers again. And then I'll go and find out what it was called, RMD, Section, elevation markers. So now I'll double click on the site plan, that'll take me back to those settings. Now I'll go back to option element attributes layer settings to go into the current layer combination and then I'll go and find that layer that was turned off. I've actually got two here so I could also turn that one on and turn that one on. Update, okay and, um, and then we can see all those 
markers on our plan, which might just be useful for when we're viewing the section as a printed drawing to know where we were cutting through the site for that section. So that's it for now. We've created this saved view of our site plan. Now let's do the same thing of that section. We'll select that section, we'll open it, just like before. Let's just go out for a second. Let's just stretch that just a little bit. We're going to make it a little bit longer. Just to make sure we're going beyond the site. Back into it again. Yep. Now, it's hard to see this, uh, so I might need to change this setting. This is the site, and this is extra site that I've drawn around as context. So what I'm going to do here is just change the, the fill of this so it becomes empty fill just so we can identify which is our site and which is not. There are a lot of other fills available to us. Um, I'm not sure if I can find the earth one that I was after that I would use for um, a more developed drawing, but we can come back to that later. I might use this one. Now I'm going to save this as a save view, right click, save, again that's going to save as the drawing, that's fine. Now I could do this at 1 to 100, I'll probably do this at 1 to 200 just so it's consistent with my site plan. And now we're going to go across to our layout book. We're going to be basing this on an A3 landscape drawing, uh, just to explain that to you. The master is a blank drawing, a blank layout, and doesn't have a drawing on that. But when we go to a, a plan or a page, which is called a layout, so these were masters, the ones that are grey, and the layouts are the ones that are white. What we want to do is drag and drop our site plan, our saved view, onto our page. So we see that at 1 to 200 that fits really nicely on the page. There's a title down the bottom uh, that also has some scale information. I don't want to use that at the moment. Ideally that's going to be located and explained in my um, drawing anyway. Into the drawing selection settings, I'm going to go into the title and turn that off. I'm just going to reduce the, the bounding box which is the, the view window of the site plan. I might just increase this a bit this way just so we're seeing more of the street. And we'll do the same thing on our sectional drawing. So down here we're going to go to this one here, uh, A3000. We only have one section, I'm going to bring that down here. And then now the scale, this is just text, I could do this as an auto thing. Um, oops, not 1 to 10, let's add a 0. So for this section, scale 1 to 200 at A3 or 1 to 100 at A1, of course, that's the value of working at a scale like this because we could go both ways. And we're going to drag and drop this onto the page. Drawing selection settings, turn the title off. Now if we want to be super clever, what we can also do is once we've got it roughly in the position that we want, again reduce that bounding box. I'm going to now go up to my site location plan, right click and say show as trace reference. And I'm doing this so I can actually move my section so it lines up with where that would be on my page. So if I was to um, take the two pieces of paper and overlap them, that's going to give us a better understanding of um, where they sit in relationship to each other. Great. So there's my, let's turn that off now just so it's a bit clearer. There's my section drawing. Now if I didn't want to have too much black on my page, what I could also do is change these edges, this option here, so I could adjust the shape of my bounding box so that way I don't just have a big black fill on my page but it's following the, the site. 
Now again, I don't even need to make this solid black. I could make that empty fill, but that's fine for now. It's, it's clearer just because it's a bit darker. We don't need to worry too much about it. Now I'll just take this, um, copy this. So that was just command copy or control copy. And I'm going to place that command control V up onto my site plan and just um, write the same thing. Now I'm sort of doubling up on information. I've got site plan written here and the scale. I don't put scale in my title block in case I've got multiples, um, but we see it's called site location plan here. That's fine. That's based on the, the layout name. So now I've got two drawings. I've got my site plan and I've got my sections. And in the next video, we're going to look at how to publish these. Now, you note I've probably just been a bit blasé with how this title block is set up. In the next video, we're going to have a look at how to edit this um, and customize this. Of course, I'm just using one of my templates for this um, video, but I want to show you how to customize this to suit your own projects as well. So let's finish this video now, and in the next one, we'll look at how to edit the title block, and then we'll publish these as PDFs, which will then allow us to print them out.